Hi everyone, I'm sorry that I haven't done a video in such a long time. I know it sounds like, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I should have done a video, then why didn't you do one? Well, I do have a good reason, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I wrote my uh, written exams, my baccalaureate, so I'm just about finishing high school. Two weeks of free time and then I have my orals, and on the 9th of July, finally, I will be finished with high school. So we like a bye-bye high school, I'll see you never ever again, and I will be happy. Another wonderful and amazing thing and simultaneously a sad thing is that in the same week, I will be watching the Harry Potter premiere, but and this is pretty much why I'm doing a video today. If you are as Harry Potter obsessed as I am, you have probably heard of Pottermore. And yes, if you haven't, I will link it in the Jubilee Doo. JK Rowling is just killing us all right now in a very, very good way. And all I can say is, what is it? Refreshing page, refreshing page. Pacing my room for hours. Not really hours, but ever since I found out, which is probably like, like an hour ago or so. Yeah, because things like that always happen at night. It's with time zones, I always sleep when stuff happens and then I wake up in the morning and go online and everyone's like, oh my god, this just happened. I'm like, what? What What just happened? T tell me, tell me. Oh, another thing that I've read about, apparently she said it's not going to be a new book, but is as good as a new book. Then I'm like, hmm, what could be as good as a new Harry Potter book? This must be damn amazing. Uh-huh. At first I was like, a new book. And I'm like, something as good as a new book without being creepy or anything. Okay, what else? Um, oh yeah, I saw X-Men, which is amazing, and I love James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender, and their on-screen chemistry is amazing. Seriously, amazing. And spoilers, kind of. I knew that he was going to be Magneto, but through the whole movie I was like, don't, you need to stay friends, don't. Yeah, I teared up during a superhero movie. Yep, that's me. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much it. After I finish high school, I have summer break, which is awesome. I'm going to Rome for a week with a very good friend who, um, I mean, she likes Robert Downey Jr., so of course we're friends. <laughs> and I'm going to Berlin with another friend, which is amazing. And this is stupid me thinking, and I wanted to go Ber to Berlin with her. And then I logged on on Twitter a bit later and I looked at Darren Chris's tweets, because that's what you do when you're too Glee obsessed at the time and too a very Potter musical obsessed and all that good stuff. And he wrote something like he had uh, relatives in Germany. I was like, nee. <laughs> sorry, that is me <laughs> being creepy. And he wrote that he wanted an uh, apartment in Berlin. It's still like five and a half hours from where I live, but it's Germany. So, hey, we'll all be very happy and giddy. Giddy is a word I've been using like, I don't know, for weeks. I love that word. Um, now tell me, I could be told, totally, but giddy means all happy and giggly and fuzzy and warm inside, right? That when, when you feel like that. If not, I've been using it completely wrong because I'm it's like I'm so giddy because I'm, I love Glee so much. And I'm desperate because the next season will only start in September. And obviously people at Fox are trying to kill me. And now I'm sorry, but this had to be said, Fox, screw you for canceling a lie to me. I loved that show, I really did. And I wanted to know what happened to the characters. Stop cancelling shows! Ah! It's like there's some evil person at Fox that's like, okay, which show am I going to cancel today? And he's in like this big leather chair with a cat. Or maybe it's like a small fox. I'm <laughs> being so stupid. I know, okay. At this, when I come to these points in a video, I realize, yep, yeah, I should stop making a video.